What is up guys? Welcome back to some more Besiege. Before I start today, I uh, I gotta say a few things. First of all, I'm trying to be a bit quiet because as some of you guys know, uh, I have an upstairs neighbor and I don't want to wake him up. So with that being said, I'm gonna be a little bit more quiet and a little bit more down to earth in this episode. But this is one of the episodes where I check out uh, one of your vehicles. Like, no, not one of yours, but some of yours, a lot of yours. And uh, <laughs> there's also another thing just before I get started. Started. And I'm saying this in a Besiege episode because I know that most of you guys are going to see this, so I'm getting the, the message out there. I'm going home for Christmas to uh, to visit my mother and my brother there, and some other family is coming as well. So I want to, you know, to go home and visit them, which means that there's not going to be any videos out uh, tomorrow. And to hopefully the 26th. I'm not sure exactly when on the 26th, but I'm hoping that I can be back. And if if I get everything going, uh, you know, com completely according to plan, then I'm thinking about maybe doing a New Year's live stream. And that's going to be something new, but where you guys can kind of, you know, be more interactive in the content and everything. I'm thinking that, you know, some of you guys have been saying that uh, that I should build something myself. So I figured why not build something in Besiege or play some Warframe or whatever the hell. So comment down below and, and let me know what you guys would like to see in the live stream. I'm not quite sure on the timing yet, but I will hopefully get a live stream up. I can't promise anything, but if not, I'm definitely going to get it together for January, and then we can have a live stream there. I'm thinking it's going to be on YouTube, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe Twitch, I'm going to have to set that up. But yeah, so it's, it's basically kind of... Like saying a live stream is coming as a sort of a uh, kind of apology in order to uh, yeah to sort of you know uh, make up for the three days that is being lost here over Christmas three or four days I'm not quite sure uh, but yeah that's that's basically what's happening so with that in mind I'm gonna go home and there won't be any episodes from tomorrow and hopefully hopefully until the 26th but then I will be back so without further ado let's hop on into your creations and the first thing here is called the tort the t the tortoise and the hare, the turtoise. I'm, I'm not sure how to say that correctly, so I may be completely stupid here. No, I definitely am. But this is uh, basically a two, uh, two machines in one. And I know that I lost my grenade down here, but that's okay. Right now, I'm just looking at the functionality of it. And, well, the hare is what you see walking right now. And it has, uh, well, okay, this... As a turning system, if I just walk a little bit, then you can see that it's raised up. And yeah, so the spinning of the wheels is what controls the turning of it. Uh, but other than that, you have this little guy here. And he is controlled with... Uh, okay, that's the wrong controls. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So he's controlled exclusively <laughs> with the numpad. And that would have to be the hair. Oh, that's a missile. I want to try to hit these guys over here then. I want to try to hit these guys over here. Oh, okay. And... Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> I hit myself instead. What the hell happened? You know, though, if the big one can't do it, I say the small one does it instead. So let's go over here. And okay, that's that's the wrong button. That's the wrong fucking button. Hi, you don't seem to mind me being right here. Oh, okay. Oh, that was way too close. I was kind of thinking about, you know, placing it there at the bomb. But let's just explode either way. There we go. All right, now this one is known as the unflippable, and goddamn, these guys still kill themselves. Uh, but I want to see if it can actually flip itself. And whoa, okay, uh, I should probably go into invincibility mode. Now let's try this again. We are in invincibility mode. Okay, we didn't get flipped, so that's pretty good. I kind of wanna. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess that is where this mechanic kind of comes in handy. <laughs> See this, guys? That's really not. Oh, god damn it! It's still stuck under there. Okay. How about we try? Ah, uh, fast forward. Okay, and fast backwards and fat. Oh, dip. ah, damn it. Okay, I thought I could do it like that, but I guess not. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it has this little uh, suspension system that I guess allows it to travel on rough terrain as well. Well, which is really really nice and the blades out on the side I think is sort of a safety measure from from the bombs and we can actually well okay that's the other way we can actually check it out here and, and go oh god damn it hang on hang on turn it yes turn it and I want to hit it with the blade to see if it flips or not uh, 
Couldn't hit it. <laughs> I need to get just a bit closer, I guess. And there we go. Come on, hit it. Seriously? <laughs> okay, we got flipped. So, no, it's not unflippable. And here we have the first out of two sword extractors in this episode. And I like these sort of concepts because it really adds to... Whoa, okay, this one is turning rather fast. Uh, but it adds to the sort of, uh, you know, concept of building new ideas within the new levels. And one of you guys actually said that to me as well in uh, in one of the emails that you guys sent to me. So let's see what happens when we do... Uh, was it this? Yes, yes, it was this. Okay, okay. <laughs> don't... Please don't break on me. I I just want to get okay 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 there we go i should probably change the camera angle uh just a little bit is that it i think this is it and then oh whoa. <laughs> that went super fast did you see that whoa i i, I kind of gotta try that again and once again we go uh, oh <laughs> i guess that's not supposed to happen huh so let's just take a look at how fast this thing actually goes up let's see <laughs> It just flies up into the air. Thank God it didn't destroy the vehicle or anything. And I really love this new level. It is awesome. And along with the vehicle, of course, you have these, which are kind of cleanup cannons. And that was actually really nice that the that the shrapnel uh, made it all the way to the back of the of the of the crystal stair. So all we need to do now is get the sword over there, and the back sort of ribby thingy my bob here is uh, is controlled by the uh, numpad exclusively i believe oh we're doing a wheelie <laughs> we're not supposed to do a wheelie we just got to get the sword there so uh, uh oh 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 wait 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 yes yes i got it and now oh now oh we can use this as a weapon because it has such a good amount of turning whoa <laughs> okay i need to slice up some crystals guys and hang on oh shit okay got stuck <laughs> got stuck on the thing let's try this again oh, oh let's go out a bit here and now yes <laughs> oh god damn it we need some more crystals to be slain but okay okay i i i guess they don't want to okay so this thing is absolutely mind-blowing there's just one thing with the wheels that kind of looks like something that you know i uh, could offend a few people but you know what i'm gonna look past it i'm not gonna sort of would you say frame this vehicle for anything that it's not so I'm just gonna go ahead and have some fun with this and the reason why I think this one is awesome is because of one of two things a you fit it in the bounding box and it freaking is legit that is crazy that was a weird way to say it but basically it fits in the bounding box that's one number two is the fact that it has way too little controls uh to get confused oh okay okay that was also a weird way to say that and uh well it i mean look at how easy this thing climbs the stuff the stuff and things and takes it away and then gets blown out of there by the by the sort of wind there but either way this one is just incredibly big and the turning is just basically steering hinges so that you can go let's let's actually check out the turning okay okay something something broke off that's fine we're, we're, we're gonna leave you there i hope you don't mind and <laughs> it's still going it's kind of funny to look at actually now i wonder how about here because this is also rough terrain but this is kind of di whoa okay different terrain <laughs> uh oh oh okay we got we got flipped over too and we can't really go anywhere now well a little bit but it's not efficient at all. Okay, maybe it is. No, no, it's 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 not. Invincibility mode should make up for that, shouldn't it? I say we give it a try at least. So up here and, you know, let's just go up on the big one right away. That's what she said. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell? Also, speaking of that's what she said jokes, uh, a little Dutch and I are going to do a double uh, episode of, uh, what is it, of Rocket League uh, next, uh, what is it, next week? Yeah, because um, I didn't get it out. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. I, 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 <laughs> I didn't get it out today or, you know, in this week because tomorrow's Wednesday and that's when I go home for Christmas. So, yeah, but this one still kind of looks to, you know, be having a good time on this stuff. On this kind of terrain here, I just kind of wish that it wouldn't break so much in, uh, in, <laughs> in the sort of vanilla mode, like the the opposite of, uh, what is it, invincibility mode, basically. But yeah, uh, this one too is, I, I mean, it's just having such an easy time, regardless of invincibility mode or not. It's just having a really, really easy time going up on stuff and things. Like you can uh, see here, 
<laughs> and it's just going up there with no problem. I mean, it is still invincibility mode, but hey, it has no problem. All right, this guy is called the Terminator, and he looks really, really cool. He has a kind of a, uh, how the hell was the controls? There it is. Like, he can headbang along with his bombs there, and he can uh, rotate his torso and everything, which is all good and fine. And I think that there's actually a way that you can, okay, there's cannons and the bombs. How in the hell did, oh, no, no. <laughs> All right, those are on the numbers up here, so three and four, and again, they're so fast because they've been edited with uh, with BSG editing, so to speak. But I'm gonna just uh, focus there, and then we can start to turn around a little bit. Oh, there's a bit of lag there, that's okay. Let's go over to these guys, and okay, we actually don't have anything to kill them with. Maybe I should have spared my grenades, huh? And we are rolling onto the battlefield, people. We are, oh god damn, the sandbox is weird. Hi guys, how y'all doing? Do you want to die? Either way, now you are dead. Alright, and let's take out your home while we're at it. There we go, and there we go. <laughs> really fast missiles and everything. And the last vehicle up for today is a sword extractor, which is really, really cool. This one is called the Hover Sword, and this one there is not a download link to yet. I'll put an annotation right here uh, on the screen so that you guys who see it then will know that, you know, now there's a download link in the description, but, you know, it, it's not there yet because this one was sent to me as a singular BSG file and this one I wanted to try so I'm gonna set a download link down there I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get that from the guy who made this and in the meantime let's check it out so it's very simple controls actually the first thing you do is go up with uh, what is it I need to start the simulation so hold O for two seconds I believe and then detach with J so let's do that and hit and now I think okay we we are we are upside down <laughs> and let's hop up and yes yes oh god damn it I'm on my back again hang on since we aren't in uh, in free build mode I believe that we can also just eh, flip this thing around <laughs> oh come on can I, can I flip it oh yes yes I can flip it yep ah oh, god damn it I'm just kind of gonna try this again so uh, about it and how far can we go <laughs> Okay, I, I, I didn't really plan on doing that, but hey, halfway through I thought, why not just hold in the fly button? So, uh, again, and let's see how far we can go, and just, ah, oh god damn it, you know, I think we need a few wings on this thing. Alright, I slapped on some wings on there, and now it's time to figure out if this thing can truly fly, so let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, it's going so much better. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we we only made it a little bit further out, but god damn it, we were we went like way way higher uh, than before. This is this is really really cool just to slap a few wings on this thing. Maybe we can even go a step further. Right. More wings or more propellers basically. So now we should be able to okay. <laughs> It's kind of, it's kind of pushing itself down already. Oh, okay, <laughs> and that thing just kind of pissed off over there. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And now, whoa, 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 whoa. We are going so fucking far out. Oh, that is awesome. Right, so yeah, you can not only steal the sword, you can also get away very, very fast and safely. Yeah, Sword Extractor 2.0, basically, and that's not to say anything bad about the, the you know, the machine itself, but yeah, it's just really fun to be able to fly with this thing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it here, guys, and I would like to wish all of you out there a Merry, Merry Christmas, and guys, we have made it to, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, 7,500 subscribers which is insane and I'm I'm absolutely loving every single time that I see someone new in the comments and you know just just mingling with the already sort of existing community and it's just so great for me so I would really like to thank you all uh, also for being very nice to each other and everything that's that's sort of uh, the main concern that a lot of people have about YouTube I don't have that concern because I know you guys are awesome at that and I see that every single day so with that being said, thank you so much for 7,500 subscribers. It's it's crazy that it has been this short of amount of time. But uh, yeah, sadly, 
I can't upload over Christmas, even though I would love to. But I'm going to have to see about that New Year's live stream. Once again, I can't promise anything, but I will definitely promise that I'm going to look into it for January and I'm going to do something on it there. So in the meantime, thank you everyone so much for tuning into Besiege. Have a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.